Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. My name's Tim Mulhelpt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Happy Friday. We are getting you set for a very busy weekend of Husker sports this evening, and we'll start with a quote from Amy Williams, whose team will look to remain undefeated when they host Indiana State at 1 p.m. at PBA tomorrow afternoon. Williams was asked this week how she keeps her team focused as they gain increased national attention for their 9-0 start. We really don't say don't listen, and we really don't say pay attention and listen you know we just kind of try to say that that stuff is all outside of our control and when we get within our circle we know what really matters and that's what we want to just focus on the things that we can control huskers women's basketball play-by-play -play announcer matt Cotney joins us at 7 25 p.m tonight to preview tomorrow's matchup Husker men's basketball will be on the road playing early tomorrow when they take on Auburn at 10.30 a.m. Huskers commentator Jake Muehlheisen will join us at the top of hour two to give his thoughts on how the Huskers can battle through the flu and bounce back after a tough loss to Michigan to start this week. Also joining us tonight will be John Baylor, the play-by-play -play voice of the Huskers volleyball program. He'll be live from Austin, Texas as he prepares to broadcast the Huskers regional final against Texas tomorrow night in Austin. The Huskers advance to take on the Longhorns after they swept Illinois for the third time this season last night. At 625, you'll hear from Huskers associate AD and broadcaster Matt Davison as he gives his insight into the Huskers coaching additions and preparations for signing day next week. And elsewhere around the world of sports tonight, some key matchups to keep an eye on. The FCS Championship quarterfinals are on tonight, and that one just kicked off in Harrisonburg, Virginia, as Montana Samori Torres, former college, takes on Matt James Madison University. In the NBA, lots of good games on the slate this Friday evening, including a 6.30 p.m. tip between Kevin Durant's Nets and Trey Young's Hawks. Then a nice nightcap with Jason Tatum and the Celtics are out west, taking on Devin Booker and the Suns at 9. In the NHL, Sidney Crosby and the Penguins are moments away from faceoff against Alex Ovechkin and the Capitals. Battle of former top draft picks in that one. And then at 8 p.m., the upstart Detroit Red Wings take on Nathan McKinnon and the powerhouse Colorado Avalanche. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelpt, and this is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. It's Scoggin, heat check three deep left. Carter, you betcha. Scoggin hit two in a row for the Huskers. 81 55 big red. They're just not taking their foot off the throat. Webster coming to the right side, finds Wilcher, shoots the three on the way. Bang! A ring! C.J. Wilcher! Back set, middle swing, Keela Caffey, kaboom! Puts a dent in the Devaney deck! Michael Keaton in the forecourt, drives in the lane, flips it up in the left, here and it finishes! Michael Keaton is taking over the key! Kicks it out, Tominaga, three on the way, bang! A ring, a ring! And Tominaga, it's another huge, humongous, gigantic three! And the Huskers, the slide, Caffey, kaboom! Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Thank you. Welcome our Friday night show here at Sports Nightly. I'm looking out of our uh, windows here on the east side of Memorial Stadium, and I actually see snowflakes fluttering through the air. I know it's not like what our friends up along Highway 20 in northern Nebraska experienced over the last 24 hours. They get a lot of snow up along the border uh, between Nebraska and South Dakota. So we're thinking about you out there. First kind of winter storm that we've had through the year. It's not going to be very bad here in uh, Nebraska's capital city uh, for the Huskers. The lights are on at the stadium if you're driving around. That's because Nebraska does have some prospective student-athletes on campus. This is the last weekend before the December 15th signing day for Scott Frost and in a lot of ways, a new staff with the new additions that have been announced here in the last couple of days. In fact, all three of those coaches that Scott Frost has hired since the conclusion of the season just a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago, in fact, from today on that Black Friday game with Iowa, all three new assistant coaches are on campus. And this first time that's happened, uh, Mickey Joseph was here earlier in the week, uh, left and did some recruiting it's back tonight. But Mark Whipple and Donovan Rayola have now made their way to campus and will be here this weekend. We are expected to be able to talk to all three of those gentlemen next week on the program, uh, but obviously very, very busy trying to put the finishing touches on this class, and Nebraska, I think, is going to be very aggressive for the next five days. Uh, you have to cut off contact, though, by Sunday night, so you've got, you've got about 48 hours here to really make an impression on folks and, and get them 
uh, ready to, to sign next Wednesday. We'll have some coverage of Wednesday. We'll have some more t- details about our coverage of National Signing Day for you as we flip the corner into next week. I'm solo tonight. Jessica's off. A well-deserved day off for her. A little long extended weekend for her. So you just had me for the next two hours. We have a loaded show. Tim kind of gave you a little bit of the lean of what we're going to be talking about. Matt's going to be here in just a couple of minutes. No, it's not Mondays, but Matt's going to come in and talk about what a wild couple of weeks it's been for this program as they look to replace an offensive coordinator, a wide receivers coach, an offensive line coach, and there's still still work to be done. They still have one more assistant to be added to this staff, so we'll see what ends up happening. Is uh, That may be something that doesn't happen by next Wednesday. That may be something that happens post-signing day for the Big Red, uh, so we'll see where, where things land for that. But Matt's going to be here in a couple of minutes to tell us about what the last two weeks have been like for this program to get new coaches in the fold, to recruit – to deal with the transfer portal. All this is just so mind-blowing, really, what has been added to college sports. And you folks, you think back, really, to just the last six months with NIL launching in July and now with the portal. And I saw today, a number today, let me see if I got it in my stack here, that we're now over 1,000 college football players in the portal. And most people's seasons have been over 14 days. And that many young men have decided to put their name in the portal and hope to find a landing spot elsewhere. So Nebraska's trying to navigate all that. They're trying to look at, obviously, high school players who could sign, junior college players. So it's a busy time for this staff and for the head coach. So we'll get Matt's take on that here in just a little bit. But a busy weekend here. A handful of prospective student-athletes expected to be on campus for the next couple of days. I don't know that the weather with snow flying around helps a lot. But it is what it is. That's what we get in Nebraska, right? Wait 24 hours, it changes, and it's going to change, right? <laughs> in the next 24 hours, it's supposed to be decent around here tomorrow. All right, um, how about that volleyball team? Wasn't that something last night? And, and folks, I, I got to tell you, I, I hope we never take it for granted that Nebraska tomorrow, when they play taxes down in Austin, will be appearing in their 10th straight regional final. Elite eight, if you think more in basketball terms. Tenth straight. That's unbelievable. The consistency that John Cook has with that program is absolutely remarkable. And I know people that, that are diehard volleyball fans, you get it, you know that. But if you're a Husker fan and you, you, you follow the volleyball team, but it's not, you know, not top of mind to you all the time, you need to appreciate that. That is absolutely incredible to make their tenth straight regional final. I mean, that's 10 years without having an upset happen to you in rounds one, two, or three. That's not easy to do in postseason play, and that team looked really good last night. I mean, they took care of business, and and I felt bad in a way. I felt bad for Illinois and Coach Thomas, who spent a year here as an assistant for John Cook, and so when they're not playing the Huskers, I I can find myself rooting for Illinois a little bit. I felt bad for the Illini because one of their better players was sick, has this influenza, which is just all over the place right now. In fact, UNL campus is littered with with uh, young students who have influenza right now. It is a bad outbreak right now here in Lincoln. It's not COVID. It's influenza. So that, that hit a young gal for the Illinois team. She couldn't play for him last night. I don't know that it would have made a difference. Nebraska was that sharp, I thought. I thought Kayla Caffey, who we heard from uh, earlier in the week, was just outstanding from her middle blocker position. She was just... She was fantastic last night. And when she plays that well, Nebraska's really tough to beat. Uh, but she played well. I thought Nicklin had a great game at, for, at the center position for Nebraska. Uh, they were focused. They were locked in, and they took care of Illinois last night. And now it, here comes Texas. And that's the team that you go back just to April, right? Because the season last year was April, or the season was in the spring. Finished in April with the, the tournament in Omaha. Texas was the one that ended it for Nebraska last year in this very same round. And so here we go. Huskers get another crack at them on their home floor. And, and I heard people kind of making fun of Gregory Jim. Uh, folks, I loved it. I love that thing. That thing is a throwback. <laughs> I, 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 wonder, I want to go to a match there sometime. I, I think that's fantastic. The thing was built in 1930. They updated it quite a bit about 20 years ago. But that, that is a throwback place. I love love gyms like that. But um, really tough. It's going to be a big challenge. And Texas... Woke up in time to avoid a disaster for their program as Washington was taking it to 
the Longhorns last night for two sets, and they had them down 15-10 in the third. In fact, we were wrapping up Sports Island last night, and we were, in our eye, we were thinking, this could be a sweep. Huskers are going to start on time at 8.30. It's going to be a sweep. Washington's going to get the winner. Uh, but Texas, there was a reversal of a call. Huge moment in the, in the third set. The, the call went Washington's way. Texas challenged it. At the point of the challenge, it was 20 to 18 Huskies. So they would have been five points away from a sweep. The call got reversed. It went 19 all. And really from that moment on, that was the, that was the switch that flipped that just allowed the Longhorns to explode. And they just dominated the fourth. As they pulled out the third, they dominated the fourth and really dominated the fifth set as well to get into the region final. So here we go. Huskers horns tomorrow night, late night again, 9 o'clock. The Huskers are the last regional, regional final of the day. They start in the middle of the afternoon at 3. And then Nebraska-Texas is the last match. The last team to get to the Final Four will be out of Austin tomorrow night. So 8.30 for pregame coverage with J.B. and Lauren Cook-West. J.B. is going to join us in just a little bit from Austin and get his thoughts about last night and also preview for us the Texas match coming up tomorrow night. All right, Husker basketball, both men and women in action tomorrow. The men will play early for 8, 10, 30, 9, 30 pregame down in Atlanta. It's part of the Hoops giving tournament going on in Atlanta. It's a classic, so everybody plays one game. There are four games in there tomorrow. Nebraska-Auburn's the first one. Auburn's going to be without their coach, Bruce Pearl. It came down the pike today that a long NCAA investigation into the Auburn program, they have been put on four years probation. He is going to miss two games. He gets a two-game suspension, so game one's tomorrow that he will not coach in for the Tigers. In fact, they have elevated one of their assistants, Wes Flanagan, who was a member of Doc Sadler's staff a few years back here in Lincoln, will be the interim coach for Auburn tomorrow. But, but Auburn gets four years probation. They, put them, they took themselves out of postseason last March. They said they, were, they self-imposed a postseason ban. The NCAA seemed to think that was a good enough. So... They are on four years probation, but the, they don't. They won't have to miss any more postseason because of what they did last year in the postseason ban. But they won't have their coach, Bruce Pearl, tomorrow. Huskers down some bodies. Wilhelm Breidenbach injured a knee in the Michigan game. We don't have a long-term prognosis on Wilhelm. The coach said yesterday at a press gathering he just won't play against Auburn and may be out for a while. That's all he said. That's all we know on Wilhelm. We do know that there's – a couple of players that have tested positive for influenza that aren't on the trip for Nebraska. So it'll be interesting to hear uh, Kent and Jake tomorrow in pregame about who's actually out there warming up for the Big Red tomorrow. So early start for that game tomorrow with Nebraska and Auburn. The Huskers, folks, the Huskers only have three non-conference games left. The Auburn game, then a week from Sunday, Kansas State comes to PBA. And then another KSU, Kennesaw State, plays on the Wednesday before Christmas. And that's it for the non-conference, and then it's off to league play uh, for the Big Red. Husker women, undefeated record on the line against the Sycamores of Indiana State at PBA tomorrow. 1 o'clock tip at PBA, 12.45 for pregame coverage with Matt Coatney, Jeff Grish. Coat will join us in hour number two. Uh, we'll, talk, we'll talk a lot of things with Coat. I mean, he, he loves to talk college football, obviously, uh, the host of Big Red Reaction. Uh, we'll talk some football. We'll talk some basketball with Matt Coatney coming up in hour number two. Too. So that's what we have here on the program tonight. If you'd like to be a part of it, phone lines are open and available for you. 402-413-2400. The number to dial us up with a comment or question or fire off a text. We're also up and running on our YouTube stream. You can get in the chat room and fire off a question uh, at us there as well. All right, when we come back, we'll talk some Husker football. None better to do that than Matt Davison. He'll join me next. This winter season, don't just get ready, drive ready with a new truck or SUV from Woodhouse. Easily tackle the snow-covered streets and holiday road trips with the whole family with our selection of the top truck and SUV brand lineups. Plus, our team is ready to get you the capability you need, the comfort you want, and the tech to keep the kids entertained. Visit one of our 17 locations and win the season with a new truck or SUV from Woodhouse. 
Valley 365 is here, and the time is now to take your farming technology full circle. Valley 365 is the ultimate command center, the new single sign-on platform that brings together our tried and true technology and streamlines your entire operation. Combining the best features of AgSense, Valley Scheduling, Valley VRI, and Valley Insights, Valley 365 is the next-level solution for connected crop management. Leverage your data, make the most of your time, and own your tomorrow. Contact your Valley dealer today. Don't let the cold winter worry you. As Nebraska's leading supplier of propane, you can count on Sap Brothers to keep your family warm this winter. Your light family and your safety is the number one priority of Sap Brothers. When it comes to your propane needs, Sap Brothers has you covered. Visit www.sapbros.net slash petroleum to find your local Sap Brothers propane expert. Celebrating 50 years of fueling America's heartland and welcoming guests, Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Successful farmers must make good decisions every day. In pivot irrigation, the choice is simple. TNL exclusive hydraulically powered pivot irrigation systems are like no other. You get tough, reliable, and cost effective irrigation. Let TNL's 60 years of irrigation experience work for you. Call your local TNL dealer or TNL irrigation company today. TNL, like no other. The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, the technology, traits, and genetics that take on local conditions, and people with the know-how to use it. At Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to is you. Momentum. It's building at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln with game-changing work in precision agriculture, nanoscience, and digital humanities. We're unlocking mysteries in brain research, solving the impossible with remote surgery using robots, and we're creating bold futures with world-leading research in early childhood education. We don't slow down, and we're not letting up. We are Nebraska. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Isn't it about time to add a new piece of Husker gear to your closet? Check out the new 255 collection, inspired by the legendary coach Tom Osborne. With the mission to connect style with Nebraska pride, 255 was designed with the fan in mind. From Hastings to Lincoln, coach to statesman, leader to legend. Thomas William Osborne, it's all in the name. It's all in the numbers, 255 wins. This is TWO55. Get yours today at shop.huskers.com or other participating retailers. For more information, visit huskers.com slash 255. Hey, Nebraska fans, Jimmy John's in Omaha is currently looking for people to join their team with sandwich maker positions starting at $12 to $15 an hour, management positions with competitive pay and benefits, and delivery drivers earning up to $30 an hour with mileage and tips. Visit DKPMCorp.com and apply now. That's DKPMCorp.com. Come join the Jimmy John's team today. You can also visit any of the local independently owned and operated Jimmy John's franchises to learn more. Woohoo! Business technology one, network downtime zero. Being a game winning IT network takes hard work and an experienced technology coach. That's why our game plan includes Marco. Marco helps our entire business infrastructure perform better and score big day in and day out. With Marco's veteran experience guiding our team, every season is a winning season. Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections, when it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment and you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. 
game on at Sid Dillon Buick GMC Cadillac in Fremont, featuring our winning combination of Buick SUVs and GMC trucks and SUVs. And as a GMC Business Elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles for your business needs. For the convenient and easy way to shop for your next vehicle, just visit our Fremont location or check out our full inventory at Sid Dillon Buick GMC.com. We are a professional grade. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. By Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres Solutions for every field. Time to talk a little Husker football. None better than our own analyst, Matt Davison, who's probably, ah, you've been probably sipping my ties and stuff for the last two weeks, right? <laughs> Nothing going on. Yeah, it's been a busy month of December for sure, and, and it always is with recruiting. You're, all the coaches are traveling all over the country to try to find us great players, and, and then you throw the coach search part of it into it, and, and it made it really busy for Coach Frost and, and the entire staff. So, yeah, there's been a lot going on. We've added a few names to the staff. It's exciting. Um, it, it's exciting for our players, and it's an exciting time of year for our fans to uh, see who's going to be added to the program from a player perspective and now you add some new coaches as well so there's uh there's some new personalities for husker nation to get to know and they are anxious to do just that had you ever mickey joseph was the first announced addition to the staff had you ever met mickey i don't know that i had you know i, I told him i said mickey i remember watching you play when i was growing up but i i don't know that i'd ever really met him um, but man, from the first time I met him, I was just impressed with his personality, his um, his energy. Uh, he's a guy that's really going to bring a lot to this football team. He's he's a proven coach. He's been around to a lot of different places. He's coached some of the best players that have ever played the position, and um, you know he's a great recruiter. And he's just going to add a lot to the program. So he knows this place. He has great passion for Nebraska. So it was really a no-brainer for us with Mickey, and and I'm sure glad he he decided to come up here. It was a quarterback right after Steve Taylor, I think, is kind of when he fell into the line there. And he shared it with Godowski and a couple other guys. Yeah, I remember him getting hurt at Oklahoma. Ran yeah, to the bench? The bench. Yeah. And he showed me the scar on the plane the other day. And I was wow. like, whoa. And it's still like, you know, big scar on his leg from how, 30 years ago or whatever. But, um, you know, he, people are going to love him here. He's just uh, a great guy. He's going to be a great coach for our, our, our receivers. And, for the entire team for him to be around because he like I said he brings a ton of energy every day and and he's going to bring a lot to the table his wife's become kind of a social media star <laughs> yeah. she's hilarious Priscilla, yeah she's uh she's uh all over the place on social media I love it I <laughs> yeah, love it yeah really cool Mark Whipple then the OC a, a guy who just finished coaching a couple days ago in that ACC title game yeah really impressive guy <clears throat> you know big resume He's been around for a long time. He's coached at different levels, the NFL and, and different levels of college football. He's coached great players as well. Uh, had Ben Roethlisberger with the Steelers, and and obviously what he's done, um, you know, at UMass, two different stints there, winning a national championship, and and then this year at Pitt, you know, took them to the ACC championship, and and has coached great players, and and at Pitt this year had the Bolitnikoff Award winner, the Unitas Award winner, and uh, a guy on the Heisman stage. So um, Coach Whipple is is very impressive. He's uh, he's a really smart football coach. He's seen a lot of stuff, and and um, I know he's going to bring a lot to the table. You put a guy like him in the same room with Scott Frost, and and uh, I think the offense is is going to be in good shape. Yeah, it's going to be football graduate level course. Yeah, with, with those two guys. Yeah, and they know some different stuff too. You yeah. know, it's not like the same background or same mentors or anything like that. They they uh, are going to have a lot of different ideas that I think are going to come together well. I know you and I both run into run the ball guy. And I think there's some nervous people out there going, oh, we're just going to throw the football all the time. I don't know that that's necessarily the case. No. I mean, I, I think everybody knows you have to be able to do both. And, and um, that's what's going to be exciting about the offseason. I mean, I don't, I don't know exactly what it's going to look like, but I think it's going to be really fun for those guys to sit in a room as an offensive staff and, and really look at the personnel and say, okay, here's the personnel. Here's what we, we think we can do well. And, uh, and hopefully put a great product out there in the next fall. 
The third piece, Matt, that, that uh, fell into place was a Rayola. We got another Rayola back with the Huskers. Yeah, that one was that one was exciting too. You know, I've obviously known about Donovan for 25 years. Do, Dominic was in my class in in 1997 here, and so I was aware of his brother when he came out of high school. And we obviously wanted him here at Nebraska. He kind of wanted to do his own thing, and so he went to Wisconsin. Was a really good player there, and and played a little professional football. And he's been in coaching now for for a number of years. So. Um, Look, he's a, he, I think he's a great teacher. I think his, his technique and the way he teaches, the people he learned from at that position, uh, I think it prepared him for this. And um, Husker fans are going to love him. You know, everybody loves Dominic from his time here and the time that he has spent back here as he's come back to different games. And, and um, they're going to love Donovan too. Donnie, as we call him. Donnie. Okay. And uh, so Donnie's going to be a, a guy that Husker Nation is going to be really interested to get to know. And, and um, you know, he has a young family, and, and it's going to be a great addition. It's getting to know. I've got to imagine the current players can't wait to meet their new coaches. Yeah. And so they've kind of trickled in today. Good. And, uh, you know, Mickey has been in and out a couple of times. But the other two guys showed up today, and, and uh, so we're introducing them to the players there in their, uh, with the team and the and the uh, their position uh, as well, and so it's going to be really exciting, I think, for them. You know, I, uh, you know, I had three different coaches in high school. That's much different than college, but I had three different coaches in high school. I feel like I learned a little from each one of them. I had Coach Brown in college, and I learned a lot from him. I had a little stint in the NFL, and I learned quite a bit from from my coach there too. So I think every time you have somebody else that's that's coaching you, you pick up some things and. We had great coaches here before, in my mind, that, that uh, really prepared our, our guys and gave them great knowledge. I think they're going to learn more knowledge from their next coach, and, and they'll be able to stack that on top of each other, and, and they'll be even better players. So it's an exciting time, for sure, and, and it's been a busy few weeks putting it all together. Well, and we've got a recruiting date coming up here on Wednesday, so this will be, I'm sure, a busy weekend with some visits coming in, guys coming in, taking a look at the facilities, talking to the coaches. Yep, it's, uh, this is the last stretch, right? It's, it's a pretty quick turnaround this year. Sometimes you get one extra week, it seems like, and, and uh, this year is pretty quick. So signing day is next Wednesday, and, and so really it, it ends on Sunday for the most part. And, and uh, hopefully Wednesday you, you put a good class together. And, you know, the portal has changed a lot of things. And so, <clears throat> you know, the 15th is a big day for high school kids. And then, you know, you have the portal guys that, that aren't – that's not as important on the 15th. They can kind of – uh, make their decision when they want. So these these classes, not just Nebraska, everywhere, they're going to kind of come together over weeks. It's not just going to be like Wednesday and it's over. Big big event in Vegas this week where a lot of the conference commissioners were out there, and one of the topics was some commissioners saying they think this early signing date needs to go away, that they don't, they think it's too quick, that there's not enough time for programs to react. You've been on the inner, inner workings for a couple of years now. What, what do you think? I mean, I would agree with that. I mean, you, you see this year's the, maybe the best example. So you, you have the portal, which changed a lot of things, and all the coaching carousel of this year. I mean, to, to have kids only have a couple of weeks after the season's over to kind of see where coaches land, coaches leave, uh, take new jobs, it, it puts a lot of high school kids in kind of a predicament, not knowing who their coach might be, either the head coach or the position coach, even if the head coach is hired. And so I think looking at all of that stuff is probably the right thing to do. Um, when, when kids are forced to make a quick decision sometimes, then they're more likely to probably not have that decision as firm as they should, and they're probably more likely to leave and go to a new place again. So uh, I, don't, I don't know that I have the answer, but I think it's something to look at for sure and, and make sure that we give – these high school kids the best opportunity to to uh, make the best decision they can well Planey always used to say when they commit let them sign and he said and then if the staff leaves then you need to let them out yeah you, as a school you need to say okay we're changing coaches you're free to do what you want but Bo was like if they commit in June let them sign in June and then they have all the pressure off their shoulders right and and I don't disagree with that at all I mean I think that would be a, a good option we commit to you you commit to us and unless anything changes we're committed to each other yeah and and so I, I don't disagree with that. I, I just think that this, this, you know, this year is the 15th of December. Uh, it's pretty quick after the season with all the changes that are happening around the country with coaching jobs and that sort of thing. It's, it's really been kind of a rat race the last two weeks. And, and for us, I mean, even though 
you know, some stabs are moving and head coaches are moving. You know, we had a few openings we had to fill, and, and it's added a lot to Coach Frost's plate as well. So, uh, man, it's been a crazy couple of weeks, and hopefully it all comes together next week when we sign a bunch of good kids. Speaking of Vegas, I know that you know, your old pal Eric Crouch was out there. They put him, officially put him yeah. in the College Football Hall of Fame. What a neat deal. Yeah, I mean, he's a tremendous uh, football player, was a great player. Um, everybody knows Eric by now, but he's just so humble for all the great things that he did on the field. He's a, a great husband and father. He's a great representative for the state of Nebraska. Um, we came in here together. I didn't redshirt. He did. But uh, we were roommates on the road for years and, and lived together a little bit in college. He's as good a friend as anybody could have. And I can't think of anybody more deserving. I mean, on the field, he was so tough. Uh, he would do anything to win. He was a selfless guy, uh, team first all the time, yet we put a lot on his shoulders every Saturday, and, and he was willing to do it. So uh, just so happy for him, Nebraska-born and uh, college football Hall of Famer, and it couldn't happen to a better guy. Any update for us on Johnny? You know Johnny's been in the hospital. I don't know that I have an update for you, to be honest. Uh, it was We discussed it again today, but I'm not sure that I have an update for anybody. Okay. Oh, well, our thoughts and prayers to Johnny. For sure. We need the for jet sure. going. No, oh, for sure. I mean, I always love seeing Johnny. We need to see his face back down here soon. Yeah. All right. Well, have a good weekend. I know it's busy around All here. Right. Keep it going, and uh, congratulations on being a part of this. This has been fun seeing these guys come into the, into the family. Yeah, thanks, Greg. It's been a lot of fun for, for us and, uh, you know, stressful at times, but I think it ended up really good, and I think our fans are going to be really happy with it. There he is, Matt Davison, with us here on Sports Honey. Buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We'll talk to John Maynard down in Austin, Texas. Oscar's getting ready to battle the Longhorns tomorrow night in a regional final. That's next. The game isn't just about winning or losing. It's about the snacks they share after they've used up all their energy in the field. It's the early morning practice before school and staying late after to get a couple more kicks in. It's the pride they feel for their team and the determination to always keep improving. Sure. The game isn't always about winning or losing, but when they've won the big game and celebration is in full swing, there's only one thing left for you to do. Get them home safe. Buckle up and back. Paid for by NDOT Highway Safety Office. Your holidays could be even happier if you win the Nebraska Lottery's Slay Full of Joy promotion. Until January 5th, enter non-winning Nebraska Lottery holiday scratch tickets for a chance to win $1,000, $3,000, or $5,000 in one of our three drawings. Choose from $1 Merry Match 2, $3 Holiday Prize Lines, and $5 Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Enter the Slay Full of Joy promotion and you can start 2022 by winning a jolly little jackpot. Top prize odds vary by game. At Subaru, they love building vehicles for those who pack a lot into life. The redesigned 2021 Crosstrek is their way of saying more power to you. An upgrade in horsepower means you have a world of fun and adventure waiting for you. And the Crosstrek comes with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. Love, it's what makes Subaru, Subaru. Visit Deteau Subaru at 27th Street and Jamie Lane in Lincoln or at DeteauSubaru.com. Upgraded horsepower available on select models. Finally, it's time to tailgate, to find your spot in a sea of red, to get together with family and fans, and to share what makes Husker football season the best. This season, share Valentino's tailgater tradition with their big red double jumbo deal and get two one-topping jumbo pizzas for only $17.99 each. Order yours at Valentino's.com. Some restrictions apply. See store for details. Valentino's, the official pizza of the Huskers. Go Big Red. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Lutz is an integrated business solutions firm born and raised in Nebraska with offices in Omaha, Lincoln, Hastings, and Grand Island. Lutz provides expert accounting, consulting, financial, technology, M&A, and talent solutions tailored to you. Lutz embraces your business as their own to discover the right solutions to help you thrive. They mind what matters for businesses or individuals seeking a partner to help energize and heighten financial and organizational success. 
Visit Lutz.us slash GBR. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections, when it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment, and you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Get holiday ready and make the most of the season with a new Ford from Woodhouse. Now offering 0% APR for 60 months and up to $1,000 in bonus cash on select vehicles. Plus, shop, finance, and buy your way. Online at WoodhouseFord.com or one of our three convenient Ford dealerships. Win this season with a new truck or SUV from Woodhouse Ford. WACTT Electro must finance with Ford Credit Financing. Vehicle delivery by 1-3-2022. 299 Dr. Dewitt signing offer expires 1-3-2022. See dealer for details. Walk these fields for 85 years. Grow deeper roots here. Know what thrives here. Bring in world-class genetics and innovative traits like chrome triple stack corn hybrids and Enlist E3 soybeans. Refine it through pure local know-how and expertise. Do all of that, and the only thing left is the right seed. Hogemeyer. Learn more at therightseed.com. Here is a before winter to-do list from JTEC Construction. Let's start with windows. Triple pane window technology has saved homeowners countless dollars on heating and cooling bills. Siding serves a crucially important purpose, protecting your home and insulating it from adverse weather conditions. And don't forget about your roof. Designing your roof should be simple and painless, and JTEC offers several payment plan options. One more thing on your to-do list called JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska's new collaborative biosecurity lab is leading research to safeguard America's food supply against growing threats in partnership with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. The lab brings together world-leading expertise in agriculture and a deep understanding of the complexities of strategic deterrence across the threat spectrum and in multiple domains. Hey, this holiday season, give the gift of good taste with a gift card from Valentino's during double discount days. Double your discount from $5 to $10 free with a $50 gift card purchase. Valentino's handcrafted pizza has been a family favorite for generations and now get a $10 gift card free with a $50 gift card purchase at Valentino's. Welcome back. Sports Island here on now a snowy Friday night in Lincoln, Nebraska. Just some snow flurries floating through the air here. At the stadium, they're probably not floating through the air in Austin, Texas. That's where John Boehner is, getting ready to cover the regional final tomorrow night. Oscars and the Texas Longhorns. Good evening, JB. How are you doing? Are you on 6th Street? No, I'm over the age of 23. <laughs> so if I were hanging out on 6th Street, the average age on that street would go up by about four years, depending on how many people were roaming the streets. And given the time of night, very few. Hey, tell us about Gregory Gym. I, I, I would love to walk in that place sometime. I love throwback gyms like that. What is it like? You and I both. Uh, beige brick, built in 1930. Acoustics are incredible. Even during the Nebraska-Illinois match when it was just a neutral gym, half full, it was so loud. It's deafening when Texas plays. It's a special place. The uh, Austin Aces of the World Tennis League played there for a season, and Texas basketball played there until 1977 until they decided to move into a generic gym down the road, the drum, the Frank Irwin Center. But uh, they played actually a men's basketball game, Longhorns did, earlier this season 
and apparently it was a circus. Like, it's just crazy loud. It's, it's like Mike Ahern Fieldhouse down there at K-State. But these universities, they don't, they don't uh, appreciate what they have. And uh, they never should have left Ahern, if you ask me. And then now Illinois volleyball is trying to leave Huff Hall. And last night some of the Illinois students were wearing Huff is where the heart is. T-shirts, that's awesome. I love. It. That's where you're supposed to go to college for. You know, it's like, to, you know, send a message that uh, hey, we're gonna be out here. We're gonna make our our views known. But yeah, I love these old barns. Oh, fantastic! It looks that way. I, I've got to stop in there the next time I'm in Austin. Just walk in and just soak it all in. What do you think? Uh, what'd you make of the Huskers last night? I thought they played very well until I talked to assistant coach Jalen Rays <laughs> afterwards. He said they didn't play very well. So I said, good. I like it. If, if if I think they're playing well, but the coaches think they can play a heck of a lot better, I think that's all to the good. But uh, I think they, they they dictated the action. They uh, served pretty tough. They We saw flickers of brilliance from Allie Batenhorst and Lindsey Krause offensively that I didn't hadn't seen. I mean, they just had another velocity on their fastball. So I thought it was a good effort. Now, Illinois was depleted. Uh, the Megan Cooney wasn't available to them. Not that anyone told us before the match. So we sounded completely ill-informed when we suddenly 10 points into it, realized what everyone else apparently knew. And that is that uh, one of their top two players was absent, but still, you know, Nebraska just basically controlled the whole match. There was no doubt about the outcome for the most part, and they should be well-rested for tomorrow night. Well, you were, you were darn near witness to a major upset. I looked for a long time last night that Washington was going to take down Texas, what what were your takeaways from watching that that five setter? Heartbreak, uh, sadness that uh, Washington couldn't seal it and finish it. Boy, uh, that would have been huge uh, because Washington's a great team. If that's the fifteenth best team in the country, then the sport of volleyball uh, is a different caliber than it was even five years ago. I know we've got these COVID seniors, and so we're seeing older players and, and more talent out there, but Washington's the 15th best team in the country, and they had Texas, which is one of the most talented teams I've ever seen assembled on the ropes at Texas home gym. Yeah, they were not only dictating play over the first two sets, Washington was up by five midway through the third, and then Jenna Gabriel, the setter for Texas, tried to two-shoot, which is a unique play. The setter, rather than setting a teammate, actually sets the ball over the net intentionally to the donut, and it's over the head of the blockers, and they're unsuspecting their feet are on the floor, and the back row diggers aren't ready for it, and it landed. And you could just feel things change. And Logan Eggleston on the next rally smashed one to the floor, and the whole thing changed, and Washington was never in it again. But that would have really helped Husker hopes for tomorrow night. When was the last time, I'm testing you now, when was the last time oh, yeah. Nebraska performed a reverse sweep like that? Everyone likes this new phrase, and everyone's using it. I never heard the term reverse sweep 18 months ago, and now I want to use it. That's a good phrase. I like it. <laughs> the last time Nebraska performed a reverse sweep, my guess is the 2018 Final Four. Greg, it was awesome. All right, we're up at... Twin Cities, Minneapolis. The Huskers are playing Illinois and their future gold medalist setter, Jordan Poulter. And Illinois takes the first two sets. Everyone's a little panicky, except the Huskers. They're extremely calm. Then Illinois goes up 24 to 22. And we're thinking, you got to be kidding me. Michaela Fecky is going to finish her career being swept? Not so fast. Four rallies later. Huskers take the third set, then the fourth, then the fifth. At the time, I didn't know it, but that was what is now called a reverse sweep. Man, I thought I wasn't sure if that was the last one. I remember that one. I didn't know if we've had one since. That was uh, that was unbelievable. I remember that match very, very uh, well. All right, JB, it's that Texas. Final to four. That, that Final Four, Minneapolis 2018, you know, Stanford two nights later. Even though the Huskers lost, it was 9-9 nine, nine in, the, in fifth the fifth against one of the greatest teams ever assembled they should have won four national championships in a row on um, and the huskers with the kayla fecky and a freshman at setter named nicklin ha ha uh Hames and and lauren stivers a redshirt sophomore and jazz sweet a, a soft i mean you gotta be kidding me if you want to, if you want testimony to the greatness of a kayla fecky remember that team 
had Stanford 9-9 in the fifth, and there was the controversial call that if it goes the other way, who knows? JB, we got a text. Somebody said, you're missing one. You're missing Creighton in 2019. Excellent point. That's the night Capri Davis went wild. Michaela Fecky had like 26 kills that night, but Capri Davis's finest hour as a Husker, like 18, she had like 21, 22 kills. Excellent point. The, here's the deal with, with technology. Now, I know it helps with communication, but it also helps humble broadcasters who yeah. think they know everything. Exactly. No, you're exactly the moment, right. Like, you know, I thought Tony Davis's number was 25, and I think I'm right, but if I'm wrong, we're about to find out. <laughs> John Bader with us from down in Austin, Texas. All right, tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, late night, get, get your nap in. These two teams played in April. Texas ended Nebraska season. What is different? What is the same uh, with the two teams from that match in April to tomorrow night? Well, Nebraska's healthy. Last spring, Lawrence Stevens was nursing a bad back that was much worse than any of us knew. He had back surgery uh, within a month and uh, missed the first 10 matches this year. So there's that. Uh, Lexi's son is, is not an instrumental part of this team right now. She could be tomorrow night. She might be tomorrow night, but it's Allie Badenhorst back to her home, uh, home state that's going to be the second outside hitter. And you've got to have two great terminators on the outside to go deep into December. And we have a much better back row. I mean, there, there's, I think there are three keys to tomorrow night, uh, and that is, one, can Nebraska weather Texas's runs? They're going to get four. They're going to get three and four-point runs. The question is, will they be six- and seven-point runs? I mean, Texas led Washington set four, nine-nothing last night. That cannot happen. Number two, Nebraska's right side block. I mean, they're, they've got two of the greatest outside hitters. In the two first-team out, let's just leave it at that. Two first-team outside hitters, Skyler Fields, Logan Eggleston. Half the time, they're going to be hitting on a 5'10 senior setter named Nicola Hames. Half the time. Can she slow him down? Can she get touches? Can she get deflections? Can the middles come over and help? And number three is Nebraska's back row. This is one of the great collections of diggers in Husker history. Are they fast enough? Uh, can they react quickly enough to keep these rockets from hitting the floor? And the answer is maybe. And uh, we'll, we'll find out. So, those are some of the big differences. Yeah, we didn't have the back row back in the spring that we have now, and we weren't healthy back in the spring. Fantastic. Can't wait. I've got chills already. JB, get a good night's sleep. Uh, get rested, and we'll be uh, waiting and anxiously listening to you and Lauren tomorrow night. Well, tell fans to hydrate, pace themselves tomorrow, <laughs> send positive psychic energy. Wow, this is big. It's not just a regional final. It's a Texas regional final. You Should bet. be fun. You bet. Thanks, JB. Thanks, Greg. There he is, John Bader, voice of Husker Volleyball. 8.30 tomorrow night, pregame coverage from Gregory Gym down in Austin, Texas. JB joined us on our Sports Highly Hotline, brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance and buy online at woodhouse.com. 402-413-2400. We're back to wrap up hour one next. Inspired by the legendary coach Tom Osborne, Nebraska Athletics is proud to introduce the 255 Collection. With the mission to connect style with Nebraska pride, 255 was designed with the fan in mind. With high quality at the forefront, 255 can be worn anywhere, from sporting events and business meetings to backyard get-togethers. No matter the occasion, 255 is about feeling confident, looking good, and celebrating the remarkable coaching career of Tom Osborne. Shop now at Huskers.com or participating retailers. For more information, visit Huskers.com slash 255. Your holidays could be even happier if you win the Nebraska Lottery's Slay Full of Joy promotion. Until January 5th, enter non-winning Nebraska Lottery holiday scratch tickets for a chance to win $1,000, $3,000, or $5,000 in one of our three drawings. Choose from $1 Merry Match 2, $3 Holiday Prize Lines, and $5 Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Enter the Slay Full of Joy promotion and you could start 2022 by winning a jolly little jackpot. Top prize odds vary by game. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. 
Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBeefeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. <coughs> Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, Nebraska fans, Jimmy John's in Omaha is currently looking for people to join their team with sandwich maker positions starting at $12 to $15 an hour, management positions with competitive pay and benefits, and delivery drivers earning up to $30 an hour with mileage and tips. Visit DKPMCorp.com and apply now. That's DKPMCorp.com. Come join the Jimmy John's team today. You can also visit any of the local independently owned and operated Jimmy John's franchises to learn more. Score a game-winning drive when you buy your next vehicle at Sid Dillon Chevrolet. As a Chevrolet business elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles, including medium-duty trucks and low-cab forwards. Whatever vehicle fits your needs, we're here to make the purchase process easy. Visit our Chevy locations in Blair, Crete, Fremont, or Wahoo. Plus, shop our full inventory at SidDillonChevy.com. Chevy, find new roads. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, brought to you by and sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer, 27 locations across Nebraska. And into Kansas, Acre Solutions for every field. Thanks to John Boehner and Matt Davison. A couple of stars, right, joining us here in hour number one. And to answer Crypto, Troy, and Rudy's questions, Matt Davison is not going to be the special teams coach. All three of you were asking the same thing. I can guarantee that. Matt is not going to be the, the special teams coach for the Cornhuskers. That is still to come. There's still one more opening on this staff. And as I said in my opening monologue tonight, I, I think that's kind of – it's going to be a while before we get that one. I think the focus the next four days is going to be on recruiting and get filling out this recruiting class and trying to make some inroads in the transfer portal. There, as I, There's a thousand names in that portal, so there is a lot of things for a bunch of the folks that are on this football staff, not just the coaches, but the people that, that go through all these game tapes to try to identify – some people for Nebraska to go after. And, and this, this program is going to be very active in the portal. And it's going to, we're going to lose some young men to the portal. So there is Payne's name went in the portal earlier this week. So we're going to lose some, but we're going to get some out of the portal. I think Nebraska has looked around the country, namely Michigan State, and the success they had with the portal last year. And you got to jump. you got to play that game. you got to get in there and get after it. So I think Nebraska is going to be doing that in, in the coming weeks. So I don't think you're going to see – uh, Nebraska filling that last spot for a few days. I think it's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, Scott Frost kind of shifts his focus here um, in the last couple of days. And this is a big weekend. There's quite a few prospective student athletes here on campus this weekend. The class, I think there's 10 commits right now. I look for about 13 to be signed in the class. That's probably all because the portal is going to be the rest of the class. And that's going to trickle in over the next five, six weeks. That doesn't have to be done by Wednesday. You can get a portal guy. Heck, we got some more in May, I think, last year, June. You're, you're going to add portal people throughout the year because there's no set date for that. So it's college football, folks, is changing. It's really changing. Hey, folks, call us up on our Sports Only Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family Shop Woodhouse. First, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance, buy online at Woodhouse. Dot com. Oh, the snow is flying outside of Memorial Stadium. Oh, what a pretty sight. Love it. Finally got a little snowstorm coming through Lincoln, Nebraska here today. We'll be back. Hour two next.
Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Find your sanctuary in a new Lincoln SUV from Woodhouse Lincoln during the Lincoln Wishlist Sales Event. From the top safety rated Corsair to the luxurious Lincoln Navigator, Woodhouse Lincoln can fulfill your wish this season. Get zero down, zero do it signing, and zero first month's payment on qualifying vehicles. Shop our inventory in store or online at woodhouselincoln.com. WAC TTL Extra. Offer valid on qualifying vehicles. Offer expires 1 2 2022. See dealer for details. Your holidays could be even happier if you win the Nebraska Lottery's Sleigh Full of Joy promotion. Until January 5th, enter non-winning Nebraska Lottery holiday scratch tickets for a chance to win $1,000, $3,000, or $5,000 in one of our three drawings. Choose from $1 Merry Match 2, $3 Holiday Prize Lines, and $5 Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Enter the Sleigh Full of Joy promotion and you could start 2022 by winning a jolly little jackpot. Top prize odds vary by game. Hey Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT, and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team. www.iowaworks.gov. Great job, everyone. Printers, great coverage. Phones, quick pickups. Firewall, tough defense. And network, way to carry the whole team. Ever since Marco started calling our technology plays, we work smarter and our whole game is more streamlined. Marco's all-star services and support give us the winning edge. Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com.
and welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhaupt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Happy Friday evening as we're getting you set for a busy weekend of Husker sports as we'll start with a quote from Amy Williams, whose team will look to remain undefeated when they host Indiana State. That's women's basketball tomorrow at 1 p.m. at PBA. Williams was asked earlier this week how she keeps her team focused as they gain increased national attention for their 9-0 start. We really don't say don't listen and we really don't say pay attention and listen. You know, we just kind of try to say that that stuff is all outside of our control. And when we get within our circle, we know what really matters. And that's what we want to just focus on the things that we can control. Huskers wins basketball play by play announcer Matt Cotney joins us at 725 p.m tonight to preview tomorrow's matchup. Huskers men's basketball will be on the road and playing early tomorrow when they take on Auburn at 10.30 a.m. Central Time. Huskers commentator Jake Muehlheisen will join us in just a few moments to give his thoughts on how the Huskers can battle through the flu and bounce back after a tough loss to Michigan to start the week. Elsewhere around the sports world tonight, some key matchups to keep an eye on. The FCS championship quarterfinals are on tonight as Montana Samori Torres former college takes on James Madison University and it's seven to three James Madison in the second quarter as we speak in the NBA lots of good games on the slate this evening but the Nets are currently in action against the Hawks it's Kevin Durant and Trey Young James Harden a lot of good names in that one and it's close one in the first it's 16 14 Brooklyn at last glance later we'll have a nice neat night cap when Jason Tatum and the Celtics take on Devin Booker and the Suns at 9 p.m. In the NHL, Sidney Crosby and Alexander Ovechkin are always tied together for their high draft status back in the early 2000s. And in that one, always a classic matchup, it seems. It's 1-0 Penguins in the first. And then later tonight, we'll see the upstart Detroit Red Wings take on Nathan McKinnon and the powerhouse Colorado Avalanche. That one drops the puck at 8 p.m. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelm, and this is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. It's Scoggin, heat check three deep left. Carter, you betcha. Scoggin hit two in a row for the Huskers. 81 55 big red. They're just not taking their foot off the throat. Webster coming to the right side, finds Wilcher, shoots the three on the way. Bang! A ring! C.J. Wilcher! Back set, middle swing, Keela Caffey, kaboom! Puts a dent in the Devaney deck! Michael Keaton in the forecourt, drives in the lane, flips it up in the left, here and finishes! Michael Keaton is taking over the key! Kicks it out, Tominaga, three on the way, bang! A ring, a ring! And Tominaga, it's another huge, humongous, gigantic three! And the Huskers, the slide, Caffey, kaboom! Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Here we are, final hour of the night, final hour of the week of sports. Not a big hour coming up. Going to chat with Jake Muehlheisen, who's down in Atlanta, getting ready to call the Huskers game tomorrow with the Auburn Tigers. Matt Cootney will stop by as well. The Husker women back at home after a couple of weeks away from PBA. We'll get a take on that undefeated Amy Williams squad with Coat. We'll have our winners and losers for the week as well. But we start the hour by zipping down to Atlanta, Georgia, where the Huskers uh, had, flew down today, practiced today, get ready for the Auburn Tigers. That's where Jake Muehlheisen joins us now. And, man, that was, a, that was a tough one the other night, Jake. I think maybe we've learned a little bit about part of the reason why that went that way. That It sounds like there's a lot of sickness going through this basketball team right now. Yeah, there has been, and there's been a lot of talk about that with uh, the flu bug kind of uh, going through the team, and that's a that's a hard thing to, to fight through in a game, especially when you're playing your first uh, Big Ten home game against a really quality uh, Michigan team. But, you know, the, the, the thing that Coach talked about after the game was just the, the lack of fight towards the, towards the middle of the second half and, and how that game finished. And hopefully they learn from that, watch the film, and then can uh, – have a little bounce back game here in Atlanta against Auburn uh, tomorrow morning. Were you ever part of a team that, that kind of a sickness went through the locker room like it appears it's kind of happening right now with this group? You know, I, I never was. It's it's kind of it's kind of hard to think and and realize that that's probably a rare circumstance that never happened with how close you are and how much time you spend in the locker room traveling. But that never happened on a team that I played in high school or college, but. Once that bug hits, I mean, 
like I said, you're so close to one another and with each other all the time. It's hard to it's hard to stop that stuff, even even with these guys wearing masks the majority of the time. Well, we've all, I think, been trying to kind of explain and figure out what, what really went wrong Tuesday night. It just seemed like the shots didn't fall. The defense wasn't nearly as good as it was at, against Indiana and some of those other people. Do you just throw that game away? Do you just try to forget about it and move on? How do you think this team will approach this thing? Yeah, I think, I think what, what Coach uh, and the staff wants to do is watch that game. Go, hey, here's, here's what this looked like. Here's our lack of energy, our lack of hustle, our lack of just being aggressive. Uh, watch that film and then throw that out as an outlier where hopefully that's something that never happens again because you saw the fight you know, against NC State when we battled back down from 11. Uh, you saw the fight at Indiana when we got up 10 early on and fought them the whole game. And then I think that's just going to be an outlier. I think that's something that we can learn from and then go, okay, we can control something every game, and that's always playing hard. So hopefully uh, here in Atlanta we come out and we're the more aggressive team or the more physical team and really just throw the first punch. And that's what you can control every game, and that's playing hard. Jake, I know you got a chance to watch this team some in the offseason and then the, the exhibition games, the charity game. Did you ever imagine that they would struggle like this shooting the basketball? Not, a, not at all. I mean, the practices that I've all gone to, the exhibition games, and just watching these guys, you know, and shoot arounds. I mean, they're knocking down shots. I, I think we have, I said, the six to seven really good shooters, and, and we've gotten high quality shots, and for whatever reason, they're just not falling. We're shooting 25 and a half percent from three right now, and I would have, I would have bet that we would have been in that mid 30s, if not upper 30s, watching these guys play and practice in, in the off season. Um, but if we could just keep getting these quality shots, I read something um, that we're second in the country at getting high-quality shots but just not knocking them down right now. So if we can keep getting those good looks and executing and sharing the ball, they're going to start falling at some point. But hopefully these guys have, have got some confidence in practice watching the ball go through the hoop because right now it's probably between the years more than anything where you, know, you and I are sitting talking about it right now, the fans are talking about it, um, the coaches have been talking about it, so hopefully – they just get that out of their head and get let it fly here uh, on Saturday tomorrow against Auburn. Busy with Jake Muehlheisen, analyst on the on the Huskers radio network. He and KKP will have the call tomorrow early, 10:30 tip time, 9:30 for pregame coverage as the Huskers take on the 18th ranked Tigers of Auburn. The coach Jake yesterday when he met with the media back here in Lincoln hinted that with the off week coming up, maybe maybe a chance to tweak the offense a little bit. What might that look like? What what could he do? What can what can a coaching staff do midseason to try to generate some more offense? Well, you've seen you've seen obviously we've struggled from three, but you've seen us have some really good uh, success driving the basketball and playing uh, at the rim. The, the games against NC State and Indiana combined, we shot over 50% inside the arc. So we can do that. We can start attacking the rim, and then we just probably take a little bit less threes is what I'm going to guess that he's going to try to do. Uh, maybe slow the game down a little bit just with, with our struggles from shooting. When we're shooting it quick, too, and then missing, then obviously that's just a recipe for uh, just for some, some, uh, some bad losses like you saw on Tuesday. So I think he might try to slow the game down just a smidge, but uh, I think that week off will be big. I Hopefully they can play well tomorrow uh, against Auburn, but that week off will be big not only just to get some rest, but mentally – uh, try to get their minds right, try to get their legs back underneath them. But it can give Coach Hoiberg a chance to tweak the offense. And we all know how good of an offensive coach he is. So he'll have some things up his sleeve, and I'm sure he can get this get this uh, this team going the right direction. You mentioned Auburn. That's the opponent tomorrow. They're going to be without their head coach. He's been suspended for a couple of games, Bruce Pearl, because of an NCAA and a violation a few years ago, Wes Flanagan's going to be the interim coach tomorrow. He was a member of Doc Sadler's staff uh, back in the day. Well, what what about this Auburn team? What stands out as you look at them and study them and get ready for this thing? Yeah, it'll it'll be unique without without having Bruce Pearl on the sidelines. I was talking with Doc. He's excited for Wes and for his opportunity tomorrow. Uh, but man, Auburn they're they're physical, they're athletic. Uh, they'll press you full court. They'll play man to man. Um, and really get up in you and play physical. And they'll even sprinkle in some 1-3-1 one, one zone in the half court. And they start off in a 1-1-3 one, one, zone at some time. So they'll, they'll throw everything at you. Um, they're averaging over 10 fields a game. So we have to take care of the basketball. They have one of the best freshmen um, in the country. He's averaging just uh, another half point more than Bryce McGowan's. He's number two in the country 
uh, as far as scoring freshmen go, Jabari Smith. So we got our hands full tomorrow, and we had to just match their physicality. And I think, I think with our guard play, if we can really break that press and create some opportunities on the offensive end and then get back to playing that physical, hard-nosed defense like we saw against NC State and Indiana, we can have some success, but we have to match their physicality and their intensity. Talking about defense, uh, the Huskers have sprinkled some zone in the last couple of games. Do you like that? What, what do you think? What does this team do well defensively in your eyes? I do, I do at times, Greg. I think, I think the zone kind of just mixes it up a little bit, keeps the other, other teams off rhythm on the offensive side. Um, and, it, and, it, and the only thing that, that worries you when we go to zone is just the rebounding. We've, we've seen this team struggle cleaning up possessions and finishing on the defensive side, getting those defensive boards. But I think it just gives us a different different look. And then on man-to-man, -man, we're, we're at our best when we're really pressured on the, on the guard position, getting out in passing lanes and, and just playing you know, hard. And, and Coach Doc Sadler, he's kind of the one that orchestrates the defense. And he's, he's, he's a big-time personnel guy, so we have to know who we're guarding. And we're locked in and communicating and knowing the personnel, who to close hard on, who to close short on. We're a pretty good defensive team. We're averaging just over seven steals a game, so we can get in passing lanes and create some offense too. But we got to play hard and, and really communicate on that end of the floor. Yeah. Hey, back-to-back -back weekends of early starts, right? You started at 11 Central last week at uh, Assembly Hall and 10.30 this week. That's, that's got to be a little that's, different that's for right. a player. I'm sure Kent's up. I'm sure Kent's up in the room sleeping already, getting his, getting his giddy rest already. So, uh, yeah, it's just it's just kind of unique playing these early games. But um, got to be ready to play, and hopefully these guys get uh, get some rest and uh, get some coffee in them in the morning and get ready to go. How does it feel to be traveling again with the team? Oh, it's awesome. It's uh, it's so it's so much fun just being a part of the team, getting to know the coaches, the players, um, and then just when you're at the uh, the uh, arena and warming up and seeing guys in warm-up, seeing guys shoot, you kind of get a vibe and you get a feel of the atmosphere, what the, what the game's going to be like. So it's, it's a ton of fun, and just we're just so happy to be back on the road. I bet. Well, good luck tomorrow. Let's, uh, let's go uh, get this thing corrected and get it going in the right direction. We appreciate the time, and uh, don't stay out too late tonight. you got that early, early wake-up call to. tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Greg. Jake Muehlheiser joining us on our Sports Alley Hotline, brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance, buy it online at woodhouse.com. 402-413-2400. The number to dial us up with a comment or question. Matt Cotney will join us next. We'll talk, obviously, Husker basketball with him, but maybe a sprinkle of football question or two in for uh, Coat. We'll do all that coming up next. When you choose Woodman Life, you choose a better life insurance company. Yes, Woodman Life is life insurance, but so much more. Woodman Life is here to protect your family's financial future and offer help when the going gets tough. And Woodman Life is honored to join you in the celebration of family, community, and country. Get to know Woodman Life at woodmanlife.org. Woodman of the World Life Insurance Society, Omaha, Nebraska. You always dreamed of owning your own farm. Now you're living your dream, and it's time to pick the tractor that makes it all come together. Massey Ferguson has reinvented what compact and utility tractors can be and redefined what they do, making them easier to operate, more comfortable to drive, more versatile than ever. Massey Ferguson gives Nebraska farmers the power and performance to win in the field. Manzer Equipment in Osmond, Nebraska, your full-time Massey Ferguson dealer. Proud supporters of the Huskers and Nebraska farmers since 1975. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. What is HighBid.com? It's the online auction site for just about everything under the sun. 
art and antiques, cars and coins, office equipment and furniture, toys and tools. You can find it all at HighBid.com. HighBid.com gives you access to thousands of auctions across the USA and around the world. Browse the most popular auctions, search for the exact item you want, or just explore the site. Go to HighBid.com. That's H-I-B-I-D.com and find what you're looking for today. This year, don't just get ready. Get holiday ready with Ford. And the best place to start is at your local Ford dealer. Whether you're getting out to the mall or getting off the grid, we've got a Ford SUV that's perfect for you. Or check out America's best-selling trucks, Ford F-Series. Inventory is arriving daily, so get the season started off right and get our best offers during the Get Holiday Ready sales event at your local Ford dealer. Best-selling claim based on 1977 to 2020 calendar year total sales. You train for this all year. Endless hours of cardio, conditioning, and weights. And now, you are ready. Ready to trek back to your seat from the concession stand. Through the lines, lost fans, and that mascot who wants you to do a little dancey dance. All without spilling a drop of your ice-cold Bud Light. Welcome back to football, sports fans. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Lutz is an integrated business solutions firm born and raised in Nebraska with offices in Omaha, Lincoln, Hastings, and Grand Island. Lutz provides expert accounting, consulting, financial, technology, M&A, and talent solutions tailored to you. Lutz embraces your business as their own to discover the right solutions to help you thrive. They mind what matters for businesses or individuals seeking a partner to help energize and heighten financial and organizational success. Visit Lutz.us slash GBR. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. This year, don't just get ready. Get holiday ready with Ford. And the best place to start is at your local Ford dealer. Whether you're getting out to the mall or getting off the grid, we've got a Ford SUV that's perfect for you. Or check out America's best-selling trucks, Ford F-Series. Inventory is arriving daily, so get the season started off right and get our best offers during the Get Holiday Ready sales event at your local Ford dealer. Best-selling claim based on 1977 to 2020 calendar year total sales. Hey, Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT, and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team www.iowaworks.gov Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. This year, fire off your holiday catering wish list of famous days. For smaller gatherings, get their legendary pit barbecue and famous sides to go. Fixing for a larger group? There's delivery and setup. Or go all out with full service, where Famous Dave's catering team handles all the details while you savor all the glory. While you're at it, get your mitts on a $10 reward card when you purchase a $50 gift card. Holiday catering and gifting by Famous Dave's. Because when there's smoke and fire, there's joyful and triumph. Located in Lincoln and Bellevue and Famous Dave's. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer. 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas Acres Solutions for every field. Greg Sharp with you here on a Friday night. Jessica's got the day off, much well-deserved for her. And we're looking at the snow flying outside the windows here at Memorial Stadium tonight. Travis Fisher... Husker defensive backs coach just poked his head in the studio. He's walking around with 
some prospective student athletes that are here in town for the weekend. Big weekend for that. Also, Husker women back at home tomorrow. First time in a couple of weeks that they're going to be at PBA. And Matt Coatney will be there ready for the call along with Jeff Grease here on HRN. And you have been gone for a little bit, but I bet you have enjoyed being gone and on the road again. Uh, Coat right with this team. Greg, you have no I- idea. Um, well, I'm getting a lot of feedback there. Um, you have no idea because I didn't travel with the team last year and um, – it was so good to get to learn this team up close and personal. They are such a fun group to be around. The bus rides are are amazing, and they're a tough team. They have fun, but they've got some fortitude that showed in wanting to make a statement in the win at Wake Forest, getting the tournament win in California, and then rallying back late in the fourth quarter at Minnesota. I mean, they they're fun to be around, but they're a tough team also, and I love traveling with them. I thought they. I thought that was a really nice win for a lot of reasons on Monday, and the fact that they had to dig deep on the road to get it done. That the, there's moments and markers in some seasons, coat that kind of feel different. To me, that felt that way. What did you and Jeff's? What were your takes? It really did feel like that was a statement game because you know there've been some steps this year. This team struggled under Amy Williams to be Creighton. They got by that hurdle. This team. Um, needed to show that they could win a, a game in a neutral site. They did that against Drexel. They won a true road game at a tough San Diego team. They beat a Power 5 team that was undefeated. So there were a lot of steps, but the Big Ten's a different deal, as many of us know. And um, we knew when the Huskers got up 13 points that Minnesota was going to come back, and they did. And for that team to take that step, um, you know, I don't want to put the cart before the horse, but we had said – Look, Nebraska needs to get a win here for what's happened here early on for this this season to have the potential that we think it, it can. So, yeah, it was a marker. It was big. Um, I'll tell you, I, I, that team was happy on, on the bus to the airport after the game. It just felt like a team that knew they had accomplished something, and uh, I think it was a huge win for many, many reasons. Oscars 9-0 and going into the game with Indiana State tomorrow. And I don't know that many people would have thought they would be 9-0 be and at this point in time. And I know Amy got asked yesterday at her press gathering code about have they exceeded expectations. Let me ask you that question. Has this team exceeded your expectations? Yeah, it's a, it's a real question because I ask her the same question um, after the Wake Forest game. It's not one that she wants to answer, but I would say they have. And I think the reason – they have is you know you you only know what a team has done in the past and this team has um, shown at times when they've gotten behind on the road that um, that could be a tough thing Uh, this team has shown in the past that um, they they haven't started undefeated so I think with the number of freshmen she's playing with Alexis Markowski with Kendall Moriarty uh, with uh, obviously Kendall Coley, who has just been amazing, who was an early enrollee last year, and then Allison Widener from Humphrey. It's hard to say that you can be consistent enough with, with the freshman playing that many minutes to start undefeated. So I think they absolutely have exceeded expectations. I also know that it is a long season and you don't make the postseason in December. But every box has been checked here. And it's been a long time in the program since every box has been checked at this point of the season. Yeah, you know, you're you're absolutely right. I do think early in the season you can build, start building that resume and winning, showing the ability to win away from home, and that's what the that's what the last couple of weeks have been like. Starting with your trip out to San Diego, right, uh, right there around the Thanksgiving weekend. That's that's huge. Teams that make postseason use your teams that can win some road games. They are. I'll tell you something else, Greg. You know, Jeff Grish and I for years have looked at the RPI, and we've not understood sometimes when Nebraska has started well that they've always ended up in the the lower double figures or even high triple figures. And the last couple of years, women's basketball has went to the net rankings as the primary tool for seeding the NCAA tournament, much like the men did. And the one thing that we've noticed, and I guess I should give credit to Jeff Grish on this, is if you start – the season when the first net rankings came out, which they came out the Monday afternoon of the Minnesota game, if you start in a good position, 
you can stay there. But if you start lower, it's hard to climb. So when the net rankings came out, I really thought if things would go well, Nebraska would be in the 30s. Well, they were four. And uh, they slipped to five after beating Minnesota, and they're still at five in every rankings that have come out this week. Fans have asked me how come Nebraska is not ranked in the AP poll or the coaches poll. And honestly, and this isn't coach speak or announcer speak, it means nothing like it does in football. What really matters is is that net ranking. And because Nebraska has started so well in that net ranking, they have a real opportunity even if they slip in it, which, you know, you're not, you're not going, well, maybe they will go undefeated. But <laughs> Amy will shoot me if she heard me say that. Uh, but it's, it's going to be very hard um, f- to, to, to not go through the season without running into some losses here. But because the net ranking is so good to start things off, there's a real opportunity to stay on that radar for the, the postseason. So I think that is a really, really good key about this early season start. How nice was it to see Sam Hybe kind of kind of pick things up and go in that fourth quarter the other night? You know, and, and people have asked me what's wrong with Sam, and she missed the North Carolina Central game with a, a lower leg tweak, and they said, you know, if it was a postseason game, she probably could play. She's not seemed as explosive to us. I think there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, some of it is her class schedule. She got a very demanding class schedule this semester, and I think one of the best things for Sam is getting the semester over but she sure looked good in that fourth quarter. Ten of her 13 points in that fourth quarter. And at crunch time, Nebraska put the ball in her hands, and she came up big, especially at the foul line. She was in front of her whole family, and she had a lot of family there being a native of, um, of Minnesota. So, you know, Sam, I, I have said consistently over the last year, she and Grace Berger in Indiana are the two most underrated people players in college basketball on the women's side and Sam showed very well for herself I'm glad it was on Big Ten Network I'm glad a lot of people got to see it because I think that'll put some of the the questions to bed about you know is is anything wrong with Sam because she sure looked good in that fourth quarter the other night sure did Matt Cotney with us he'll be on the call tomorrow one o'clock tip at PBA 1245 for pregame coverage what kind of starts the league off to Co? because that's usually I mean, we start to get closer to March, and people go, well, how good's your league? How many bids is your league going to get? And where do you fall in the, st- the standings in that league? Uh, what about the Big Ten? What kind of start have they gotten off to? You know, everybody has said, and, and I was one of those that I, I said, since we've been in the league for 10 years, this is the best the Big Ten's been. And then the conference has stubbed their toe, no question about it, early on. Maryland has had three major injuries. Uh, they had a pretty significant loss to North Carolina State at, at one of those Thanksgiving you know, tropical tournaments, so that wasn't good. Indiana did not look good against North Carolina State in the Big Ten ACC Challenge. Michigan got absolutely blown out by my friend Jeff Walls in Louisville. Um, and so those are three of the top four teams in the league preseason that looked terrible. And then the fourth one, Iowa, missed two games because of COVID over Thanksgiving. And then they came back, and Carol Lawson and Duke beat Iowa. And then Iowa lost in the Cyhawk uh, challenge to Bill Finley and, and Iowa State the other night. So right now, the four teams that were picked to be at the top of the league, not carrying the weight that on a national level you really think. And the Big Ten went 4-10 and ten mm. in the Big Ten ACC challenge. Nebraska, the only one to win on the road, and Nebraska by far had the biggest win, 26 over Wake Forest. So... The league is kind of kind of licking their chops right now on that Big Ten ACC challenge. You know, we can make some excuses. And Amy Dilk, Michigan's point guard, is out, and Maryland has the injuries. But you know, the bottom line is you got to win those games because it does matter how the perception of your league is when you get to March. The good news is Nebraska looked really good early on, and I think that's kind of helped Nebraska's uh, perception nationally. Very good. Hey, buckle up. Put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT highway safety office i just want to publicly take a a minute to just salute you for all the great work you did throughout the fall with husker football it's not easy to sit here and and talk to to husker nation after week after week after a tough season on big red reaction and you handle it like a pro like we know you would and and do and and i know jay foreman was new to the gig this year as well but uh, that was not easy, and, and I, I appreciate that, and I know our fans do too, and I know sometimes that may not come across, and you guys may not feel the love on that show, but uh, they care, and they have passion about it. I think you feel that every Saturday. 
Well, Greg, I can't thank you enough. Coming from you, that means uh, a lot to me because you're a great leader for our uh, for our network, and um, I I I know. Um, if, if, if you hit, if you say that, then that's a huge compliment. Look, I love hosting that show. Uh, I've done it for nine years and I love talking to the fans and yeah, it was a tough year, but I think it may have been my favorite year hosting the show because I think the callers really were as fair about what was going on. They just want to see, um, Scott Frost be successful because they love him and they remember him as a quarterback and they they've seen what he's done at other places they their patience is thin but he's getting a longer leash i think than somebody who wasn't a native son would get and i i just really appreciated the fans this year being as brutally honest as they can it's a fun show to host you get the raw emotions immediately after the game and um, I, I, I feel, Greg, like I'm the luckiest guy in the world getting to host that show because uh, I hear from a lot of fans and a lot of people listen to it, even non-football fans. It's a great way, don't you think, to kind of get a pulse of the state after that game? I mean, it, it sometimes they what, what's on their mind is something different than I think the show's going to be. So it's always a lot of fun, even in a tough year. So, But I appreciate your, your kind words. It means a lot to me. Isn't it amazing, too, Matt, about where all the calls come from? I mean, they're, they're all, the, all over the globe when you guys take calls. It is always astounding to me that, you know, we always have the calls from California. We have calls from Texas, Virginia, New Jersey. But then, you know, we, we've had calls from China, Malaysia, <laughs> the Middle East, all over Europe, and it just, you know, it shows the power of technology these days and where Husker fans are, um, and it, it is truly amazing. You know, I was at Wake Forest the other night, as you know, and I was walking down a hallway to the media room, and there is a, a longtime Wake Forest representative who's trying to make sure that the media doesn't accidentally go into a locker room, and uh, the guy was checking out my credentials, and then he waves me over and he says, hey... I hope Nebraska turns it around. I'm I'm a native of North Carolina, and I love Wake Forest, but secretly I'm a Husker fan, and I hope you guys get football going. And that's kind of the tenor of the show, as you know, is that there are Husker fans literally everywhere, and that comes out on Big Red Reaction. And as much as I love hearing calls from Juniata and Albion and Fall City, <laughs> when you get that phone call from Temecula, California, that, that just uh, – tells you it's a pretty big deal to the fans coach there's a little skirmish tomorrow it's called the army navy game does that interest you at all so there's a guy where uh, i work full time who always puts a bunch of games up on the board and asks me and someone else to pick it and uh, i picked navy to win 28 27 and he said i was going back and forth if i thought you were going to look at it from a football perspective or a navy perspective being a veteran and i said there is no way i would ever ever pick army to beat navy are you kidding me and that game, what's great about that game is the, the records don't mean anything because that is true college football. That is true rivalry, and um, I just think it's the greatest, greatest event in college football because uh, there's no conference title on the line. It's just for pride, and there are so many people like myself around the nation uh, who swell up a little bit when they – when they see that going out there. So um, I will be cheering on the midshipmen uh, for all of you Army people who have a lot of drab green clothing. <laughs> good luck to you. It doesn't look good out in public. You know, you might want to try some navy blue. It's a lot more attractive. That's fantastic. Red in Alliance uh, texted in for you. He said, Big Red Reaction is great. Thanks, Coat. Appreciate it. Uh, there you go. Well, you know, I got to give a speech out in Alliance a few years ago, and I've always said that is my adopted hometown here in Nebraska. There's some wonderful people in Alliance, and that's the hometown of Jordan Hooper and Amy Stevens, two great women's basketball icons. So thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. Fantastic. All right, Matt, we'll, let you, we'll cut you loose. Have a great call tomorrow. Keep this thing going. It's fun. I don't know. I love watching that team plan. I know you're loving calling it. It is a lot of fun. Let's get it tomorrow. Have fun. Thanks. There he is, Matt Cotney, joining us on our Sports Nightly Hotline, which is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16.
Convenient location, simplified car buying. To save you time, shop finance and buy online at woodhouse.com. All right, phone lines open for you, 402-413-2400. The number to call us up or fire off a text like Red did from Alliance there in the last segment with Matt. We'll get uh, some more reaction, reaction from you here on a Friday night next. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Welcome to Ag Answers. Today we're talking about renewable biofuels like corn ethanol and soy biodiesel. Electric vehicles continue to make headlines as we look for ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But did you know by using ethanol, you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 46% compared to traditional gasoline and by up to 86% when you use biodiesel compared to petroleum diesel? Locally produced biofuels are the here and now solution to combating climate change. They are good for our air, good for our wallets, and good for Nebraska. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska researchers are designing the next generation of roadside steel barriers through an industry partnership with Traffic's Devices. This partnership has produced the Delta Crash Cushion, a simplistic, effective way to keep drivers safe on highways. This barrier is vital for roadside safety and significantly improves the chances motorists will be able to walk away from roadside collisions. When you choose Woodman Life, you choose a better life insurance company. Yes, Woodman Life is life insurance, but so much more. Woodman Life is here to protect your family's financial future and offer help when the going gets tough. And Woodman Life is honored to join you in the celebration of family, community, and country. Get to know Woodman Life at woodmanlife.org. Woodman of the World Life Insurance Society, Omaha, Nebraska. Both farmers and Division I athletes are alike in that every season presents a new opportunity. Aurora Cooperative does what they always do, which is lean into every new opportunity. They focus on their roots and continue to stay tougher together with their farmer owners. These core beliefs are much like those of committed Husker athletes. Aurora Cooperative leans on their values of a strong work ethic to get any job done for their producers. Aurora Cooperative, tougher together. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Husker Pride, powered locally. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's game on at Sid Dillon Buick GMC Cadillac in Fremont. Featuring our winning combination of Buick SUVs and GMC trucks and SUVs. And as a GMC Business Elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles for your business needs. For the convenient and easy way to shop for your next vehicle, just visit our Fremont location. Or check out our full inventory at SidDillonBuickGMC.com. You are what drives us, Sid Dillon. We are professional grade. Much like the values of the people of Nebraska, Nebraska Realty was built on the principles of hard work, dedication, and doing things the right way. They believe strongly in the power of creating lasting relationships and the value those relationships hold. Their success is based on trust and the relationships created with the people and communities they serve across the state of Nebraska. There really is no place like Nebraska Realty. Your holidays can be even happier if you win the Nebraska Lottery's Sleigh Full of Joy promotion. Until January 5th, enter non-winning Nebraska Lottery holiday scratch tickets for a chance to win $1,000, $3,000, or $5,000 in one of our three drawings. Choose from $1 Merry Match 2, $3 Holiday Prize Lines, and $5 Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Enter the Sleigh Full of Joy promotion and you can start 2022 by winning a jolly little jackpot. Top prize odds vary by game. 
Stay up to date with the most current and latest news by following the Huskers on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and more. These social media homes provide the fastest daily updates on everything surrounding Nebraska athletics, including game times, results, ticket promotions, prize giveaways, and more. Log on to also follow several sport-specific pages and Husker head coaches. Join today and interact with thousands of Husker fans around the world. Visit huskers.com slash social media to see all of our accounts. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Hello, I'm Tom Osborne. And I'm Coach Frost. Statistics prove that youth who are mentored and receive support and guidance from a caring adult show measurable improvement in academic achievement, motivation to succeed, and hope. Over the past 30 years, teammates have served more than 43,000 youth. And right now, there are more than 1,000 waiting for a teammate's mentor to visit with them once a week in school. For more information on how you can help the Teammates Mentoring Program, please go to teammates.org. And thank you for supporting our youth. Sponsored by Nebraska Crossing Fast Cash App. This season, share Valentino's tailgater tradition with a big red double jumbo deal and get two one-topping jumbo pizzas for only $17.99 each. Order yours online at valentinos.com. Valentinos, the official pizza of the Huskers. Army, Navy, there you heard it, the pick by Matt Coatney. Navy. He goes along with Jeremiah. Jeremiah last night said Navy. I'm going Army tomorrow, by the way. I'm more of a Navy guy, but when I'm picking to win... I like Army. I think they're more well-rounded. But it's on my bucket list, folks. That, that game is on my bucket list. I've got to get to that game some year and watch the pageantry, the march into the cadets. I, I've got to get there. I've just, I just, I got to soak something up. got to make that happen uh, someday. All right, 402-413-2400, the number if you want to dot us up with a comment or question. We've been talking a lot of college basketball. Love it this, this hour. How about that upset last night in Piscataway? Rutgers hit a shot. Ron Harper Jr. just inside midcourt to beat Purdue, the number one ranked team in the country. Purdue had scored with three seconds left to take the lead, and they quickly got the ball to Harper. He fired up the shot from just inside a half court, so probably 40, 40 footer. Boom, knocked it in there. Big win, stormed the court. Man, it was fun to see. A uh, big win for the Scarlet Knights. And, uh, you know, Purdue's, Purdue's really good. They're my pick to win the league. I think that's the best team in the Big Ten Conference on the men's side. And that's a huge win for uh, the Scarlet Knights and Steve Peichel, who they've struggled a bit early on. They've got some injuries. Uh, you've got an injury to uh, Baker's out right now for them. He's not playing, so uh, he's not able to play. But, yeah, it's a uh, big win for, for Rutgers. A lot more great college basketball to come. All right, phone line's open again, 402-413-2400. Let's go to the phones. Mike in Omaha is going to lead us off tonight. Good evening, Mike. Welcome. Hey, uh, believe it or not, I'm pretty optimistic with these hires, especially in the transfer portal. I mean, uh, just imagine you're a receiver or a quarterback or a lineman, and these are guys that can really help you, and they got a chance to play, play right away, don't you think? Absolutely. It's changed the game, Mike, a lot. I mean, you know, in the past it used to be you go get to junior colleges to get guys from instant help. Now you can get guys from actually four-year schools that can help. And look what Samore did for this team this year. I mean, there's others that Nebraska has had that are going to be helpful. And Michigan State lived off of it, and it turned them around in a hurry. So I think, I think Nebraska, well, I'm putting the over-under at about 10 transfer portal guys coming into the program. That's unbelievable. And, and, and one good thing about a close loss is that you, aren't, you are close. It, that it doesn't take much to be a close loss to a close win and then maybe a bigger win. But I got a question about Damian Daniels. What are you hearing about the draft? Because didn't he really have a great game against that Iowa center last year? And that's like one of the best linemen in the country. I mean, what are you hearing? I'm, I'm hearing he's not going to get drafted. I, w I really was hoping Namie would come back. But I get it, Mike. He's graduated. He's been here five years. You're kind of ready for life to go on. I wish him luck. And I think he can play in the NFL. I was really hoping Damian would come back, though. Now, can you come back? Can you sort of reverse your decision to go? Well, I think, I think oh. if he's already secured an agent, and my guess is by now he probably has, he, he would be done. 
See, I'm shocked to hear that he's not going to be drafted because I, I thought he was the, really the key, if one guy was, to the improved defense. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you. I thought he had a, I thought he took big strides this year, but I'm hearing from a couple of people that scan through this that he's right now not, he would be a free agent get, pickup. But, hey, he could still make a team, even if you're a free agent pickup. Mike, appreciate it. Let's head down to Kansas. And Kevin, good evening. Kevin, welcome to Sports Nightly. Hey, what's up, guys? you got nothing, Kevin, here. And uh, just wanted to have a quick question slash comment for you on this Donovan Riola hire. Um, you know, I, I was comparing and contrasting this Mickey Joseph, who I consider a home run, versus Donovan Riola, who uh, undisputedly is uh, unproven. And so, you know, I know Donovan's a great guy. You know, I like him a lot. But I just question why uh, our football team always goes after assistant coaches or even head coaches without proven Head co- or not head coaching, but proven experience at the Power Five level at their said expertise position group. I, I just don't understand so that. You know, Don- you, you know Donovan. Donovan? Well, he and I have talked before. It's been a while, really? but you know, yeah, a couple years ago. He's got great technique. He's he's good family man, but I just don't know if he's the right man for the job, to be honest. All right, well, we'll find out. You know, I, I, I've not met Donovan. I'm anxious to meet Donovan. Um, I know he's spent the last three, four years in the Bears organization, so he's certainly been around pro football offensive linemen, and uh, I'm excited to get him here and see what he happens. We'll, we'll see. I mean, obviously, guys need chances. He comes from a great football family. His older brother, Dominic, had, what, a 16-year career in the National Football League. That's, that's a long time to hang around the NFL, so we'll, we'll see where, where that goes. Send out to Colorado and Corey. Good evening, Corey. Welcome to Sports Nightly. Hey, just had a question. I, I just tuned in here not that long ago, but I – was just wondering the whole social media Spencer Rattler deal. Is there any sort of relevance to that? And I'll hang up to listen. Thanks. You know, I don't, I don't know. I can't confirm or deny. I don't. I have not heard. I've not seen Spencer on campus. I've seen the, like you the rumors that are out there. And I talked to Matt. We had Matt on early in the program, and he's not going to divulge that secret. I, so I don't know if Nebraska is interested in Spencer Rattler. We've had people in the chat room going, Greg, are we going to get a transfer quarter port? quarterback yes i think nebraska is going to get a quarterback in the portal which one it's going to be i don't know i think we got to let this play out it may not happen in the next week it may not happen in the next month i think it will happen in the next month but you know they they, you don't have to sign on wednesday if you're in the portal you can sign january 4th you can sign january 20th you can sign in may you can sign in june we got samori i think in may or june last year and he turned out really well for this team so i i think Definitely, Nebraska is going to get a quarterback out of the portal. I don't know if it'll be Spencer Rattler. Uh, I've not, again, I've not seen him on campus. I've heard rumors that he was here. I don't know for a fact whether Spencer was here or not, but there's some really good quarterbacks that are, have made themselves available in the portal. In the chat room, somebody asked me about Adrian maybe going to Oklahoma. I've not heard that. I have heard that Illinois and, and Northwestern have kicked the tires on Adrian Martinez. My gut kind of says he ends up in Manhattan at Kansas State, but I just think there's a lot of moving parts that are going to make it kind of fun to follow as you go through. Also, Chuck wants to know if I was prior military. No, my dad was in the Navy, so I've always kind of leaned Navy in the big battle between Army and Navy So because of my, my father's service in, in the Navy. But to anybody who has, thank you all for your service. Need to slip in a break. Back to wrap up tonight's show next. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you it's closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. Your holidays can be even happier if you win the Nebraska Lottery's Slay Full of Joy promotion. Until January 5th, enter non-winning Nebraska Lottery holiday scratch tickets for a chance to win $1,000, $3,000, or $5,000 in one of our three drawings. Choose from $1 Merry Match 2, $3 Holiday Prize Lines, and $5 Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Enter the Slay Full of Joy promotion and you can start 2022 by winning a jolly little jackpot. Top prize odds vary by game. Much like the values of the people of Nebraska, Nebraska Realty was built on the principles of hard work, dedication, and doing things the right way. 
They believe strongly in the power of creating lasting relationships and the value those relationships hold. Their success is based on trust and the relationships created with the people and communities they serve across the state of Nebraska. There really is no place like Nebraska Realty. Pivot control has never been easier. T&L Irrigation now offers a new control panel called Precision Point Touch. It's a full-color, 7-inch graphic touchscreen that's easy to use and gives you lots of great tools to make your irrigation faster and more efficient. Set up your pivots the way you want. You can update your older controls to the new Precision Point Control Panel, too. Call your local TNL dealer or visit TLIRR.com. TNL Irrigation, like no other. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. This year, fire off your holiday catering wish list of Famous Dave's. For smaller gatherings, get their legendary pit barbecue and Famous Sides to go. Fixing for a larger group? There's delivery and setup. Or go all out with full service where Famous Dave's catering team handles all the details while you savor all the glory. While you're at it, get your mitts on a $10 reward card when you purchase a $50 gift card. Holiday catering and gifting by Famous Dave's. Because when there's smoke and fire, there's joyful and triumph. Located in Lincoln and Bellevue and Famous Dave's. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today we're tackling the issue of GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. GMOs may sound scary, but they're actually benefiting our environment and consumers. That's because GMO crops help solve specific problems like insects, food waste, and droughts. By selecting good traits from one plant or organism and adding them to another, farmers are safely using science to produce high-quality foods better than ever before. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas, Acres Solutions for every field. Just about to wrap up tonight's show. Thanks, everybody, for being a part of this one tonight. A couple more texts. Have been, has Nebraska ever played a service academy? That would be awesome to schedule. I believe they have, but I, I, off the top of my head, I'd have to go dig through the media guide. Maybe somebody out there knows the last time Nebraska played a service academy. I agree. I I would love to play a game. One of the most beautiful campuses in this country is Air Force. That thing is absolutely gorgeous out there in Colorado Springs. Beautiful campus. Would love to go back, maybe play at Army at some point in time. So, um, yeah, that, that would be a cool thing. And, again, that Army-Navy game tomorrow, I'm uh, looking forward to seeing how that's going to turn out uh, for uh, for those two teams. And Matt Cotney, who was we talked about it earlier in the hour, he's right. It doesn't matter what the records are. There's so much pride on the line when that game happens. Time to give you my winners and losers for the week. My winner, Husker wrestler Mickey Labriolo, who was named Big Ten's Wrestler of the Week. He won the Cliff Keen Invitational last week out of Las Vegas, as did the Huskers as a team, thanks in large part to his individual victory. So Mickey Labriola, Husker wrestler, my winner of the week. My loser, Chase Claypool from the Pittsburgh Cedars. Did you see him last night? Cedars are trying to drive late with the ball. No timeouts. Down eight. They need a touchdown, two-point conversion. He makes a catch for a first down, and he has to kind of kneel and point like he has a first down. Stalling tactics. The clock's running. They're out of timeouts. His own center kind of shoves him over, grabs the football back. Claypool's like, what'd I do? I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, dude. Time is ticking. No time for showboating. Come on. Got to be better than that. Chase is my loser for the week. That'll put a wrap on this week. Uh, big day tomorrow. Husker men's basketball, 930 pregame coverage down in Atlanta as they take on Auburn. Women will be back at PBA first time since November 20th to take on Indiana State, 1 o'clock, 1245 for pregame with Matt Cotney, Jeff Grish. Husker volleyball, a regional final tomorrow night. The Texas Longhorns down in Austin. John Bader, Lauren Cook West. Let's send all our good thoughts, vibes down to Austin tomorrow. 8.30 pregame, 9 o'clock for serve. It'll be late tomorrow night. Thanks to Tim for being a part of this one. And all of you, have a great weekend. Good night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
Here we go again. The celebrating, the accolades. Ever since we added Marco to our team, our technology can't lose. Day after day, success after success, Marco's made our business IT a force to be reckoned with. The only drawback of being technology all-stars is keeping champagne away from the electronics! <sighs> Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker Athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Lutz is an integrated business solutions firm born and raised in Nebraska with offices in Omaha, Lincoln, Hastings, and Grand Island. Lutz provides expert accounting, consulting, financial, technology, M&A, and talent solutions tailored to you. Lutz embraces your business as their own to discover the right solutions to help you thrive. They mind what matters for businesses or individuals seeking a partner to help energize and heighten financial and organizational success. Visit Lutz.us slash GBR. Much like the values of the people of Nebraska, Nebraska Realty was built on the principles of hard work, dedication, and doing things the right way. They believe strongly in the power of creating lasting relationships and the value those relationships hold. Their success is based on trust and the relationships created with the people and communities they serve across the state of Nebraska.